Hello guys, welcome to the section development of web elements to A-B testing. This section we're going to code three web elements for A-B testing. The elements are as follow. First, a web page in HTML language. Second, a web application with Python and Flask. And the last element is a web scraper. With these elements done, we're going to code an AI agent to test two versions of this web page. The agent is going to show to the customer one of the two versions using the web application in Flask. And the web scraper is going to simulate the customer interacting with the web pages. Alright, let's jump straight to the practice and start to create the first element, the web page in HTML. I already opened my terminal here. I will enter in our code repository typing cdab testing and create an empty file called layout.html. In this course, I'm using VIM as a file editor, but you guys are free to use any IDE for Python that you're most comfortable with. For those who haven't heard this term, IDE is just a short name for Integrated Development Environment. It's a software that integrates essential tools for coding, like a file editor, a debugger, a terminal, and so on. Alright, as you guys probably already know, we use HTML language to create web pages. HTML language, roughly speaking, is a markup program language that uses open and close marks to position elements in a page. Buttons, headers, picture, links are examples of elements. It will become clear as we start to code. We start the web page typing HTML and slash HTML. The two pages basically separated in two sections. One section called head and slash head, responsible to define styles of the elements. And the other section called body and slash body, where we actually write down the elements. For example, if you want to define the background color, text fonts, text size, and border of a button, we need to write it down inside of the style and style, sorry, style and slash style. The button itself goes inside of div mark here and slash div mark. Our web page is really simple. I imagine typing three texts on top of the page and two buttons, the yes and no button. The texts are defined between headers. We're going to use h1 and slash h1 to define the header 1, h2 slash h2, and h3 slash h3 to define the header 2 and 3 respectively. Right below the texts are the buttons. The buttons are defined with a mark called button and slash button. Actually, this button marks goes inside of the form and slash form marks, like this, which is responsible to handle all functionality of the buttons when they get clicked. This is the structure of the yes button. I'm gonna select them, copy and paste right here for the no button. Simple like this guys, we actually finished the structure. Now it's time to provide attributes to the elements. So let's start with the div. The div marks receives a class name like class equals to block 1. Also, the button receives an ID. For the yes button, the ID is going to be yes btn. It also receives a name equals to forward btn, a type equals to submit, and a class equals to block. Also, the name of the yes button is of course yes, right? I'm gonna copy this set of attributes for the no button here. And of course change the ID to no btn. The name is gonna be the same. Type and class remains the same. And of course the name of the button is gonna be no button. The form has two attributes. The first one is called action. It's going to be slash yes for the yes button and a method which is going to be post. 
again copy and paste here of course change the name of the action slash no for the no button and the method remains the same in order to make the clicks more visual to us i will place a checkbox in front of each button every time that the button gets clicked the checkbox gets clicked as well create a checkbox is really simple just type input type equals to check box the name is going to be yes check box check box the value is going to be yes same for the no button i'm gonna copy and paste this checkbox here and actually the name of this checkbox is going to be no checkbox and the value is going to be no finally let's write the text of the headers so the header one is going to be practical artificial intelligence for a b testing the header two is going to be something like development of ai agents to perform a b testing and the header three is going to be something like are you ready to start also we can write a paragraph in the web page just type p and slash p the paragraph could be something like ai is the intelligence demonstrated by machines something like this all right guys so far so good the last step is to write down the styles of the elements let's go up here to the style mark i'm gonna position a little bit forward and the first thing to do is to import a css file from google to do that just type at import url and pass the address of the css file it's going to be fonts.googleapis.com slash css derogation mark family equals to amatic plus sc 700 close parentheses and semicolon at the end let's config the body now body has only one parameter called text align equals to center semicolon and close the header one has a couple parameters like header one has font family equals to amatic sc type like this cursive type semicolon also it has a font weight which is going to be normal it is a semicolon guys at the end always also it has a color which is going to be hashtag hac640 semicolon and for last it has a font size equals to 2.5 em semicolon and let's close here let's align those attributes here all right now let's set up the attributes for the yes button so i'm going to type hashtag yes btn which is the id of the yes button and then the attributes so the yes button has a background color background color equals to hashtag 008 cba semicolon it also has a border equals to none also has a color equals to white a padding equals to 15 pixels and 32 pixels a text align equals to center semicolon a text decoration equals to none semicolon the display is going to be inline block block semicolon and a font size equals to 16 pixels semicolon close here and let me align all those parameters using the vim trick like this 
All right. So the set of styles for the no button is going to be almost the same of the yes button. So I'm going to copy and paste right here. Of course, I'm going gonna, gonna to change the ID, no BTN, and the background, which is going to be hashtag for CAF50. Uh, I misspelled ready, but this has been taken care and rectified in the code. So don't worry about the output, folks. All right, guys, I think we're done here. Let's visualize the web page on the browser. I'm gonna choose save this file and you guys go to the folder ab-testing in your machine and open the file layout.html with your browser. It could be Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari. I already opened my Chrome here and in the address bar I'm going to type the path to the file and press enter. So if I'm not wrong, my file is located at slash users slash megron slash ab testing slash layout.html there we go this is our web page adorable right so just test the checkbox button and, and etc so checkbox here click on the button it goes to this endpoint that's not live yet also going back we can check the checkbox in front of the no button click on the no button it will direct to this endpoint, which is not live yet. Everything is working as expected so far. Congratulations, folks.